Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. Okay, so I'm gonna go all blues. I love the tones of blue. I've got various different blues. They're gonna be listed in my description box below. So if you want information on colors, brands, ratios, and more information about what I do, then it's all listed in the description box. So check that out. But today I'm working on a 24 by 20 inch canvas. I've mixed all my paints up and I want to just create a free flowing fluid art creation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two colors for the base. I'm gonna blow that out. There's gonna be no kind of structure to that. I want it to be very messy and let those paints infuse together. And then I'm gonna use four, maybe three or four colors and puddle them across the canvas. And I'll use my hairdryer to blow them out. And I'm gonna use some finger swipes as well, just to create some of that movement. I'm really excited for this, as with all of my creations, and I'm even more excited that you're here with me. So, let's see what we can create. So before we start, let me just show you some of these colours and some of the consistency. So, these two colours here are going to be my base colour. I've got a Prussian Blue, that's by De La Rowney, and it's System 3 acrylic. I've mixed it with Otrol which is the UK version of Floetrol. And I've got a good consistency there. You can see that it goes from a spatula into the paint and then disappears again. This is Pebeo's Blue Black. And I've just mixed that again with the Otrol, Floetrol, and some water. So all of my paints are mixed with pouring medium and water. But I will list all of those in the description box below. This is just some white that I've mixed up as well because I really want to create some depth to all these pieces. I'm just going to paint my sides before we begin. There's my canvas, it's ready to go. You've probably seen me paint my sides and I do this just for coverage. So I literally just take the paint out of the tube and I just gently just paint the sides and blend it in. That means I don't have to worry about the sides later on when I've painted it and I blow it over the sides and I need to touch it up. So I just prepare each of my canvases by painting the sides first. Okay, so I'm going to take both of those base colors and as you can see, I'm just pouring the paint directly on the surface of the canvas in a random motion, random order. I'm going to use both lots of those paints to create a colour for the base. So the reason I'm using two colours is because I want to create some depth to this piece. But I'm also bearing in mind the colours that I'm puddling on top. So I'm puddling blues with a white. But by using this first as a base colour, that's going to create some depth to this piece. So I'm just gonna take my blow dryer now. I have sped up this part and I'm just blowing those two colors into each other. It's gonna create different tones across the piece because the paint will infuse and merge together to create the background. Before I puddle the paints, let me take you in for a close up of the base colour. Just so you can see how we've prepared our canvas, just by using two colours, blowing them into each other to create different tones across the base colour. Because then that's going to be our background to our actual creation and design that we're going to puddle on top. So, I'm going to take one colour at a time and I'm just going to puddle these onto the canvas. 
but I want to do random orders with each of the blues. So I'm going to do a puddle and then a gap, a puddle and then a gap. You'll see that I'm just dropping a little bit of paint to remind me to add the other puddle there. That will mean that the colours will be in different sequence. And when I blow them out, that will really help with the overall design. I don't want each one to be completely identical. But I do want this to be all about the blues. So I'm going to take one colour at a time and puddle it across this canvas. And you can see I'm also going in like a U shape. I'm going to start from one side and work my way round. And that's the flow for this piece that I'm really looking for. I'm going to do a couple more of these designs in this series, but I'm going to puddle them differently and move them differently so you can see how you can create different movement within each piece. But for this one, it's about the U shape. So from one side to the other. And we'll add in some finger swipes later on just to kind of enhance that movement across the piece. I'm just going to add some white now on top of each puddle. That's going to help with the tones of the blues. Some of them will become lighter when it's mixed with the white as it blows into the shape that I blow it in. All my ratios, all my colours are all listed in the description box below. So click that description box because I list so much more information in there that helps you to create a piece of your own too. The torch is used just so I can pop any air bubbles that I've got in my paints. You might get air bubbles if you've recently mixed your paints yourself. So I just pop them using this torch. I'm now going to take my blow dryer and blow these circles, these puddles, out in different directions. Now what I would say is when you're doing this, be patient with yourself and be patient with the paint as it flows across the canvas. You'll notice that this isn't my Dutch pour consistency that I would normally use because with a Dutch pour, I would normally just use paint and water and have a very free flowing consistency. But this is slightly thicker and that's because I really wanted to control the paint and minimize any cells or lacing that would appear using the combination of paints I've used. So that's the reason that it's thicker. But I'm just gonna take each puddle, one by one, and blow it out. And then once I've blown out the initial puddle, I'm gonna then go back and then start creating a pattern that I'm happy with. I'm gonna look at the overall composition. I'm going to blow certain puddles down the sides, and I'm going to blow certain puddles more into the middle that you can see that I'm doing now. But it's about taking each one step by step, not rushing your process and having a really clear idea of the composition that you're looking to achieve. So just to recap, be patient with the paint and be patient with yourself and have an idea of the composition and the flow that you really want this design to create. I'll leave you now with some of those details and then I'll come back shortly and we'll do a finger swipe and you'll see how that really changes the movement of this piece and really ensures that each of those puddles work together to create a final design.
So I'm really happy with the blowout, but I really want to link each of these puddles together. And I'm gonna do that with a finger swipe. So I'm just gonna start one side and I'm just going to gently place my finger in the paint and I'm just going to press gently and move my finger around the design. I'm moving it in a motion that links each of those puddles that we've already placed on the canvas into each other. We're just adding that finger swipe to ensure that they can all connect together from one side to the other. I've done an initial swipe and I'm really happy with the pattern that I'm creating, but I'm just gonna go back in now and I'm just going to add a little bit more pressure and add a little bit more depth to the finger swipe. And I do that by applying a little bit more pressure and ensuring that the line that I'm creating is a little bit thicker than what I'd initially done. And it's just about linking up each of those puddles that we've blown out on the canvas to create an overall design, linking one puddle with another. I'm really, really loving this and I can't wait for you to see some of this detail. I'm gonna tidy up my edges and I'll take you in now so you can see some of that detail. I will let this piece dry and then I will show you the dried version. But let me leave you now with some of this close up of the wet version because I just love how some of those colors have infused together and created so many different tones by just using the colors of our palette. Okay, so here's the dried version of that piece. I've placed it on my wall just so you can see how it can flow. You can even have it up the other way if you really wanted to, but I really wanted to create like a U shape. So a design that goes all the way around the outer edge, leaving some of that base color to shine through the middle. I really, really love this. I've got two more pieces that I've designed in different colors and I can't wait for you to see them. But let me leave you with some of the detail now of the dried version, some close-ups so you can see how those colors have really infused together, how they've created different tones by being blown into each other. And also for you to enjoy seeing a close-up of the finger swipes because that really does link each of those puddles with all the puddles on that canvas, ensuring that the creation can flow from side to side. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this. I've had so much fun by doing a free flowing piece and I'd love for you to join me in the next video. Let me know what you think about this creation. As I said, I've done a couple more, but if you've got a certain palette that you'd like me to create, a piece like this, then let me know in the comments below. I'd love to get some ideas from you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate every single one of you. So thank you again, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Take care of yourselves and have a great week. See you soon. Bye.